torsion shaft with standard eccentric handle. Quick clamp. Open the clamp plate. Insert the upper die from the side. Then press down the clamp plate. Open the clamp plate. Remove the upper die from the side. This is the only method for installing and removing this type of clamp. Standard three-stage electric hydraulic quick clamp. Open the clamp plate. Insert the upper die from the side. Press down the clamp plate. Remove in the same way. There is a button here. Press it to open. Insert the upper die from below. After reaching this position, the upper die is held in place. Press down the clamp plate. Open the clamp plate. Press the button. Remove the upper die. Double-sided clamp. Open the clamp plate. Install the upper die into the outer slot from the side. Press down the clamping plate. Open the clamping plate and remove the upper die from the side. Press the button, then open the clamping plate. Install into the outer slot from below. Once shifted to this position, the upper die is secured. Press down the clamping plate. Open the clamping plate. Press the button again, then open the clamping plate. Remove the upper die. Flip the upper die and install it into the inner slot. Tighten these two screws to secure the upper die. Loosen the screws and remove the upper die from the side. Kyoko double-sided clamp. Open the clamping plate. Install the upper die into the outer slot from the side. Press down the clamping plate. Open the clamping plate. Remove the upper die from the side. Press the red metal plate. Install into the outer slot from below. Press down the clamping plate. Open the clamping plate. Press the red metal plate. Remove the upper die. Flip the upper die and install it into the inner slot. Tighten these two screws to secure the upper die. Loosen the screws and remove the upper die from the side. Rotary handle, double-sided clamp. Rotate the clamp plate to remove the upper die. Install from the side into the outer slot. Rotate the clamp plate. Rotate the clamp plate to remove the upper die. Flip the upper die and install it into the inner slot. Use a wrench to tighten the screws. The centers of the two dies must be aligned. Raised non-standard custom mold connector plate. Raised connector plate for fixture installation. This gap leaves bending tall sinks, boxes and other sheet metal parts. Ample clearance space. If the fixture is installed directly on the slider, the sheet metal will hit the slider directly, making it impossible to bend properly. Adding a connector plate to the mold facilitates the forming of tall sinks, boxes and other sheet metal parts.